Right there. Oh, yeah. Did you get him, bud? Yeah. Right, right in the corner, corner there. Of the jaw. There we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, another <laughs> nice bat. Yeah. How do you got... How do you guys like that? That was whole disrespect to the cameraman and all of us. Oh, it's awesome to let these fish go, guys. I absolutely love it. Makes me feel good inside. Let's go get another one, boys. Hello, folks, and welcome to the Angler's Experience. Today, we got a real unique show for you. I got my friend Alan Osborne alongside of me. He's the inventor of this critter right here. This is called Bud Diver. We're out here today with a prototype design. We're looking to send this thing off to be manufactured, and it's impressive. Let me tell you what, guys. We're salmon fishing, mighty Columbia River. It's the first part of October right now. Al and I are gonna spend about a, two or three days down here, just depends on the fishing, prototyping this guy. So you guys stay tuned. We're gonna show you this cool little device and hope we catch some big fish. The Angler's Experience is proudly brought to you by these fine sponsors. AXTackle.com, tackle that gives you the edge. Sidewinder planer boards, fight the fish, not the board. Bud's Diver, revolutionize your trolling world. Vans Grilling Based, taste the meat. And the Slaying Station, clean them in the boat, not the kitchen. Are you tired of awkwardly having to lean over the side of your boat to clean your fish? or using the other alternative, which is to pack them home, throw them in the kitchen sink, and clean them there, which the wife just loves you for? Well, let me introduce you to the Slan Station. Let me show you the features of the Slan Station. Built-in ruler, drain with hose, easily mounts in and out of the boat, and collapsible legs for easy storage. The Slan Station is available in two sizes. Get yours today and start cleaning them in the boat, not the kitchen. Quite like a pretty good one, bud. I think it's probably in the 20 pound range. You know, he, he doesn't act like one of those great big ones. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, he's a good one. Probably about 18 or so. Boy, look at him whip his head. Yeah, lift him up, Alan. Got there it. we go. There he is, guys. Beautiful fish, Alan. All right, guys, let's take a look at this fish. Whoops. Beautiful fish, guys. We're going to keep a couple more for the smoker. We're going to give some to. Alan's son, we haven't come anywhere near to carding out. We could have filled our card each day. We've let them go. We're keeping just a couple of days. So this is one that'll go in the smoker. And uh, let's get back after it. We got fish to catch. All right, folks, I want to show you how simple this is, what we're doing right here. We got our setup right here, flasher, and that Brad's cut plug. Click our release. And I like to use counter reels, guys, so I can duplicate everything. That's all we did before starting out. We kept moving around until we found the depth that they were at, and then you just go back to doing that over and over again. So what we're gonna do here, I'm at zero right now. We're going back behind Bud's diver right here, 21 feet. Holding it in my hand just like this, pulling it through. Okay, there's 21 feet. Now what we're gonna do, there's a little release in the back of this. You just clip it into the release like that, set it down. We're going 28 feet down, guys. So I just let it go, watch how fast this thing sets. So it will be a total of 49 feet, 49 feet. Just like that guys, now we're fishing. Simple as can be, reset that fast. No downriggers up and down, it's in the holder, it's at 49 feet, all we gotta do is move through man. Simple, 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 very easy to rig. This one's got some weight boys, this one's got some weight. I can't stop him. Oh, uh, it's a decent one. There he is. Oh, yeah. 
Look at right. there, boys. That's a, That's a good one. Yep, that is. There we go, fellas. All right, guys, let's be real careful. I'll bring them to you. Okay. All right, bud. Oh. Okay, bud. See you, bud. Oh, it's a good fish. Yeah, it is. 25 pounds. Yeah. At least 25. All right, bud. Oh, that's at least 25, bud. <laughs> Get him, bud. There you go. All right. Oh, yeah. Nice fish, guys. Oh, a little more than 25. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Bud's diver catches another one. Awesome fish. Let's get cleaned up, see if we can't get one more, guys. Awesome fish. All right, guys, let me show you how to rig up this Bud's diver. This is our prototype right here. We've got our line coming from our rod. This is our main line. Come through the front hole into the back hole and then push it all the way out to the back through the release like that. Pull out a little line, we're gonna put on a bead. And then what we're gonna do, cause we're clipping on to the flashers, which already have a swivel on them, I'm just gonna tie in a nice big snap right here. So we'll just tie it up like so. Clip off our excess. Now we just let it out the back. When we get it out to that 21 feet out behind like we're talking about, we hook it into the release, let it out, it's as simple as that, guys. You're off and running, catching big salmon. Bud Diver. If you're wondering why it's called Bud's Diver, because that's Alan Bud Osborne, and he invented it. And it works, boys. Nice one, buddy. Oh, yeah. Good one, Alan. Keep them tight, buddy. Nice fish. Nice fish. OK, watch the cannonball. <laughs> yeah, watch that cannonball. There he goes. Here we come. Oh, hang on, he's underneath. I got this freaking rod in the way. There he goes. Nice one, Alan. About a, I don't know, probably 14, 15 pounder. On Bud's Diver, boys. In the cooler he goes, let's go get another one. Good job, Alan. Angler's Experience is brought to you in part by AX Video Gallery, guaranteed to make you a better angler. Roundy's Kawasaki, a winning tradition since 1976. Norisada Custom Tackle, Rip Up a Hog, Pro Fish Taxidermy, Second to None, and American Rodsmiths. Don't go away, we'll be right back with more of the Angler's Experience. Little trick that's gonna help you save some money when you're out fishing with Bud's Diver. If you guys are fishing suspended fish like we are, we're trying to get down 17 to 21 feet, that's that zone those fish are coming in. If for some reason the water blew and it started to get real fast, when that happens, the fish drop to the bottom, guys. If you, if you look at water as it's moving in the river, your top layer is your fastest, and then it gets slower as you go down. So if you've got high, fast water, you wanna get down towards the bottom. So suspended like we're finding these fish, we're just hooking the ball right on the diver, just like so. But if we gotta get down on the bottom, we don't wanna lose this device, okay? This device is our friend and it costs us a little bit of money. So what we wanna do at that point in time Take our weight off, and then what we do is we tie a dropper on here, just like so. Now, there's the dropper. Now, this can be any distance you want. We usually like to be about 18 to 20 inches off the bottom. We can go down, hit, feel it hit. We're allowing enough space here for all of our, our, work, our bait to work. Now, the key with the dropper, don't tie it out of the same pound test that your main line is. Okay, we're running 14 and 17 pound test mono. I don't run heavy stuff, guys. We're landing all these fish on 14 to 17 pound mono. What I tie my dropper with here is six pound test. Reason being, if this guy comes down and gets stuck, I got enough power up above to just break this weight off, bring all this stuff back up with my lure. I see people do droppers and the dropper line is heavier than the main line, well, it's gonna work against you because you're gonna break everything off. So if you're going towards the bottom, needing to get to the bottom, tie a lightweight dropper on. If you're fishing suspended fish, just clip it right into the snap right there. Little trick to help you save some money. Bud Diver, guys. Telling you what, boy, this thing is awesome. It just tickles me. See a guy like Alan work out of his house, build this thing. Then to find me, you know, the chance of a lifetime for me to get him to help to develop this product, which I believe just, it's gonna revolutionize how people look at trolling. 
But this diver, guys, no downriggers. I got Canon Meg 20 downriggers, high dollar stuff. This thing, you clip it up, pin it down, let it do its thing. It's incredible, guys. It makes it so simple. I'm having the best salmon fishing trip that I have ever had. And I tell you what, it's because of this thing right here. I'm not messing with downriggers. Look at him right there. Oh, oh he's that's mad. a he's nice mad. fish. That's about 20, another 25. Yeah, that's a good one, huh? And I'm just having the time of my life right now, guys. I mean, it's just, it's fate that I met up with Alan. And we get, we get to do this thing together. <laughs> There he goes. We get to do this thing together and hopefully develop this product into something that everybody will love, just like we're loving it right here. Catching these fish like this. I love it, man. This is living. There you go. Hey, you got him, bud. Nice little fish, probably, I don't know, 18 pounds, 17 pounds, somewhere in there. Just the right size. Yep, perfect size, guys. Let's get it in the cooler, see if we can't get another one. This is insane. All right, folks, let me show you the rigging that we're using today to catch these big Chinook salmon. First off, what we got here is a Pro Troll 11-inch flasher with agitator and Eid chip. Now, the significance of the agitator, guys, this is something that's new in the flasher industry. What it enables us to do is go at a slower speed. The problem with flashers in the past is that didn't have this. They all had the same basic shape, and caused, it makes them rotate. But what's happened is you always had to go two five, two seven, sometimes three miles an hour to get them to make that full loop, making the full loop. With the agitator on there, what it's enabling us to do is slow our speed down. Anytime you can go slower, you're going to catch more fish as long as you're still having the same action. So look for the Pro Tro flasher with each chip, and that each chip just ticks. It's just a nice little sound coming off of there. But that agitator to me is the biggest thing. Now back to the business end of this, what we've got is a Brad's. This is Mountain Dew color, Brad's Super Cut Plug. The one thing I gotta tell you to do, don't use the standard setup out of the package. You can use the hook and you can use the bead chains, all perfect. The monofilament, 40 pound mono. The thing I don't like about pre-made guys is I don't know what kind of knots were tied and I don't know what kind of line I'm using. What we do is switch them all out. 25 pound test, we're using a good fluorocarbon, polymer knots. This is a 60 inch liter stock. When I'm trolling for salmon, guys, especially Chinook, I go six feet, 72 inch leader. So that's what I do right out of the box. Get rid of this existing stuff, tie on my own. I know what it's made out of. I know the knots are tied right. Now, what you're gonna find, guys, with this is the back hook here. Now, we haven't had any issues with the back hook. Some people, if you have your drag switched down really tight and you really get to reefing on a fish, or you're fishing in tight quarters, our quarters weren't that tight on this trip, we could back our drags off and let the fish do what they needed to. But what you may find sometimes with the hooks that come factory, you may start to get them to straighten out. Now, like I said, I didn't have an issue with this because we weren't combat fishing. I've been in situations where there's boats right on top of you, where I would take this guy here and put a super, uh, a two strong, super strong, but it's two extra strength, treble hook in red. That just beefs up the size of that guy. Now, I don't like to run the red if I don't have to. Red's a great color. I like to run this stock color here because it just kind of blends in. But if you're getting in a situation where you know you're going to be combat fishing, change that hook out, go to that two extra strong, put a good gammy on there. That way you can cinch the drag down. You're not going to straighten those hooks out. Other than that, guys, that's all we're doing. Very simple. That's a ripper, Alan. Holy oh, crap, boy. huh? Uh oh, that's a sturgeon or something, man. We might have to go down, Alan, put that motor in gear. Yeah. And just drive forward nice and slow. I gotta get some line back on this guy. Boy, this is a big fish, guys. Big, big fish. Oh yeah, look at the glow. Look at the glow, boys. That's a giant. Oh my God, Alan. Yeah, you got Alan. it dandy. Alan. That's a, one of those 40, that's maybe a, 50. That's a, okay, come on now. Come on, Alan. I've wanted a fish like this my whole life, buddy. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, I've fished so long for a fish like this. You gotta get this fish for me, Alan. You got it, buddy. This is a fish of my lifetime right here. I've never in my life caught a fish like this. Easy. 
Oh, come on, baby. Come on, Alan. Alan, don't force it now, okay? No, no. Get him, Alan. Get him, Alan. Oh, oh man. Too quick. <laughs> Alan, come on, my friend. Come on, Alan. Bud, get him, bud. Get him in there, bud. Woo! <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's over 40. Huh? It's over 40. Okay, Alan. Ready? Yep. There we go. Look at that. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Look at this fish, guys. That is the biggest salmon of my life, guys. I'd say 45. Look at that, guys. That is the biggest salmon of my life. I'm shaking like crazy right now. Bud's Diver. Guys, you saw it, the Bud's Diver. I cannot stress enough. This is gonna be an awesome tool. Look at this, guys. Look at that. Hop in there, bud. Oh, that's your tool, brother. <sighs> Look at that. That is awesome, guys. Oh, I love you. That is beautiful. That's a fish of a lifetime, guys. I've been fishing for many years for one of those, boys. That is it. Yes. This segment of the Angler's Experience is brought to you by Buck Knives, knives that fit your life. River to Sea, lures that produce results. Tobler Marina, your one-stop boat shop. Batesmith, quality fish on quality baits. Strike King Lure Company, number one in fishing lures. And River City Solid Surface, Spokane's countertop experts. We'll be right back with more of the Angler's Experience. All right, folks, thanks to the miracle of television, we're going to show you the new Bud's Diver be packaged and ready for you to buy. Here's what it looks like. Remember this guy right here? Remember this one right here? Now we've got an actual molded body. Watch this. Come in here, clip our bridge on, locks in place. We've got slow water and fast water diverters. Slides up onto here, clips into place. Now we're ready to fish. You want to go off the left side of the boat? Watch this. Unclip it. Rotate it over. Lock it in. That quick, guys. The drag coefficients cut way down from the ones that Bud hand built so hard in his house. He spent hours and hours on these guys to come up with this. Pretty amazing to see the transformation, isn't it? We were using eight ounces of lead to get these down. All of our tests are showing, guys, five to six ounces. We've cut the amount of lead down by two to three ounces on average for the big heavy flashers. We're trolling for steelhead, guys. Ounce and a half of lead on here and getting it down there deep. All the angles are right. Works five times greater than this did. And you guys just witnessed how well this thing worked. Get out, pick up the new Bud's Diver and start putting more fish in your boat. You'll be glad you did. Well, that fish is ripping, Alan. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, huh? <laughs> Guys, like we can't even get things down in the water here. This is so crazy. Oh, well, he's going man. upstream, Alan. That's a big fish, Alan. That's a big one. That's a big male, probably. Wow. That's a beast, Alan. He found out he's hooked. Now he's, yep. he's going for it. Boy, that That's... fish is not budging, Alan. Nope. It's a big fish. It's a big fish, guys. This is a big one. You can see it. he ain't budging at all. He's just holding out there in that current. Can we back to him, Alan? No, I think we're all, as long as we stay away from him, that'll, that thing will just tire him out yep. right there. And it, that thing's out there in the middle of the line there, just working on him. Yep. Keeping her tight. Guys, Alan, you can see, he's 73 years old. This guy's got more salmon knowledge in his pinky than I got in my whole body. I can guarantee you that. He's fished this Columbia since he was a kid. Grew up down at the mouth of the Columbia. His diver, hands down, the best salmon product I've ever used. There's a reason for it, guys. It's stealthy, there's no rattles. You get your bait away from it. You don't got the down of your cable sitting there humming and moaning, towing a ball from him. It's what I've dreamed of having. No rattles, no colors, no nothing, guys. That bait just out there in space, nice and subtle, nice and stealthy. Boy, Alan, that's, that is a big old fish, buddy. That is. Huh? That's a fun. 
Huh? You having fun? Oh, bud. Oh, bud. Is it the 50? Bud, it's it's a big one. Oh my gosh. Yep, don't horse him, bud. You know what you're doing. Guys, this is a giant fish. Oh! Got him, bud. <laughs> bud, that might be the biggest one you've ever caught, bud. It is. Holy is. smokes, guys. Mr. Allen, <laughs> thank you for the great device, buddy. Look at this fish, guys. Okay, ready? Here he comes. In the boat. Oh, he just bent the net. He bent the net, bud. <laughs> huh? Can you believe yeah. that? Look at that, bud. Look at that. <laughs> oh, look at that fish. Look at that, guys. Look at that big old fish, guys. Is that a beauty or what? Nice job, Mr. Osborne. <laughs> Is that a beauty or oh, what, guys? That's a dandy. Awesome fish. Let's throw oh. this guy on the scale here and see what he weighs. Here you go, guys. 38 pounder. 38 pounder for Alan. That is absolutely incredible, bud. Well, folks, I'll tell you what, sun's starting to set. We got a beautiful sunset going on. We're still trolling. We're still trying. But I tell you what, the diver that Bud has built, Bud's diver, is absolutely phenomenal. The baits work great. The cut plug by Brad, great bait, but I tell you what, that bud diver gets the machine. I want to thank Alan for coming along. I want to thank Alan for finding me at a sports show in January and giving me the opportunity to use his product and help him market it. It's been one heck of a trip, buddy. You enjoyed yourself? You bet. By golly, it's, it's going to be a good one. I, I agree. We're going to put some smiles on some faces out there. As always, folks, I want to thank you for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next week.